Hello ladies, welcome back to Life with Chelsea. I want to say thank you for tuning in this week as well as thank you to all you beautiful ladies who joined me for the 1010 challenge. That is we are spending 10 minutes with Jesus for 10 days. It's just a way to reboot so that we can become consistent and keep our quiet time as a priority. As you know, last week we talked about that, how to spend time with Jesus, how just to be able to sit before God, read a scripture and be there with him. You know, that sounds like it's super simple, but sometimes your mind can go all these different places and you just need some help. And so that's what the 1010 challenge is about. So I not only want us to be women who know how to spend time with Jesus, who can show his love to other people. I want us to be women who are grounded in the word of God, right? 2 Timothy 2.15 tells us, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Listen, I want us to be able to show ourselves approved unto God. And that comes by studying the word of God, right? This is more than just reading a devotional every morning. This is more than just attending Sunday school. This is more than just attending church. This is you spending time outside of church, studying and really just getting into the word of God. And so today I'm going to share with you a three-step process of how you can study the word of God right there in your living room, right there in your coffee shop, whatever it is that's convenient to you, right? So the first C and the first step is, it'll be three C's today, three C's. Um, so the first C is context. So say you see this verse and you're like, I want to study that verse. You're reading that verse. You've read over a few times. You've written it out in your journal. Well, the first C context means that you should take some time and actually read the verses before the verse you're studying and the verses after because you want context of what, what does the scripture really mean like what was going on who was this spoken to and many times you can't just get that by reading that one verse right you have to read before and after it may be a chapter before a chapter after so the first thing i want to challenge you to do is to read for context right so read verses before and after the second c is to pick up a concordance right you can buy one or you can start with one online and what a concordance helps you to do is to define the words of that scripture, right? It's going to give you the meaning, right? Because fear in one verse can have a totally different meaning in a different verse. And you want to know when that author was writing that book, what was the intent of that scripture, right? What was it that he was writing to us so that we can live out God's ways and God's promises and God's commands here on earth today? But you know that by being able to truly and honestly dissect the verse, right? So I would encourage you, if you've written it out in your prayer journal, you get the concordance and then you leave some room so that for each word, you're able to write that definition. So that by the end of that verse that you've looked up, you're able to see, okay, fear means this. Um, place means this temple means this whatever the words are and you'll be able to read that verse th with the definitions and I tell you ladies it is truly an amazing experience to be able to dissect a verse and to know again what that original author thought and so from here we've read verses before and after we've now dissected the verse so we know kind of what's going on we know what was actually what these words mean and you know, you can begin to apply it to your life, but it's so important for us as women of God to know that before you can have application, you need to have interpretation, right? You need to be able to correctly interpret the verse. So at this point, you kind of have an idea what the scripture means. So our third C is commentary. Ladies, you can start off with the online commentary, but I highly encourage you to invest in a really good commentary. And you can tell a really good commentary by the fact does it give you more than one view. Great commentaries that are dynamic and teaching you will give you and let you know that, you know, this scholar thought it meant this, this scholar thought it meant this. So that as you have taken this verse, as you have dissected it, now you're able to see Am I thinking about this in the right way? Am I truly studying this and understanding this scripture in the way that this in original author intended for me to do it? And with the commentary, it's going to tell you the different views. It's going to tell you and help you understand what the intent was. And you know, ladies, if you're at this point and you've went through the context, the concordance, and the commentary, 
you just study the verse, right? And then from there, you just meditate and you continue to learn it. You continue to apply it to your life. But I can't stress this enough. Apply the scriptures once they've been correctly interpreted. Because whatever the original intent was when that scripture was written is what it still means today. The only thing that will change when we read a scripture, you and I, is how we apply it to our lives. But the original intent does not change. So ladies, I pray that you would continue with me on this 10 for 10 challenge. I pray that you would be with um, be with this community of women so that we can truly be women who can study to show that self approve and we just wouldn't take a scripture and run with it and not truly understand what it w- was meant and what was their original intent. So ladies, I love you. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. And as always, you can visit my new website, lifewithchelsea.com. More information, there's blogs there, and again, the 1010 challenges there for you. Have a great week.